It is a time for commercial banks in Nigeria. No thanks, of course, to the country ash economy at the moment. Virtually all of them have resorted to mass sacking of staff, pitching them against labor unions in the country, who have been picketing the banks for weeks now. Analyze those banks. It is four days now that the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, broke out the truce between the banks and unions, leading to the suspension of the picketing. <laughs> The agreement now appears to be threatened as the Ajero faction of NLC says it does not recognize it. It is the issue the umbrella body of all employers in Nigeria is here to address. The only NLC we know, which is led by Comrade Ayuba, any other body that is parading itself as NLC is simply acting illegally. The Nigeria Labour Congress has been fractionalized, leading to the emergence of two parallel presidents and executive. From our own understanding of the law and the practice of industrial relations, long before now, the government ought to have prosecuted the faces of the so-called fraction of the trade of, of the NLC, because it is a rogue union. It's not supported by the law. The law is very clear about it. We will write to the minister to inform the minister on the development. We will write to the inspector general of police to let the inspector general of police know the law and to let the inspector general of police know that in the event that this rogue union matches out with its members, that would be the height of criminality. It remains to be seen how the Ajero faction responds to the warning from NECA. But it does appear the crisis between the banks and unions is far from over. Sunji Olanipo, TV 360.